What's up guys, welcome people, this is Angel from PRGB Entertainment, welcome to another dummy lesson for the Unreal Engine 4. Now in this dummy lesson I will teach you guys how you can work with functions. A lot of people don't know what functions are and they don't know how to use them in the Unreal Engine. So I'm just going to be really quick about this just to show you guys what you can do with the functions in the Unreal Engine. Now we got a third person project here. Now the functions basically does the same things as you do in the event graph when you add functions to call variables to do things to change camera reviews and stuff like that the only thing is that you create a function it's like creating a folder and put it in files inside so from there you can drag the folder to whatever you want to copy it or something like that it's basically the same thing so let's say that maybe I just uh, want to print uh, text or something from a variable that maybe I have I have and I want to use and I want to create a function to put everything inside there so on my event graph of my character I just I can only just add an event and add the function to it link those two and when I start uh, <coughs> pressing the key or depending on the event that I add it starts making all the setups that are inside the function so let's do this really quick let's go to our character let's double click let's go to the event graph now as you can see here on the event graph like always we have all the functions for the movement and all those things here on, on your left you can see that you can add new functions now let's say that maybe I want to add a text to be printed on the screen and I don't want to write the text so I just want to take it maybe from a variable that I have here so I'm going to create a variable and it's going to be a text it's going to be a text and I'm going to put here uh, the text label text label there we go so I'm going to compile so it could give me the options so after compiling after compiling I get the values so I'm going to put here this is the results inside inside the variable that is being printed on the screen okay so let's just leave it like that now maybe you've been thinking where exactly that's going to appear now first of all that's a result that has on this variable so let's say that you can put it's like your name your name has a social security number and that number is yours well right now let's say that the text label is your name and the social security number is the default value that we just inserted right here so let's say that uh, let's create the function let's create one this function is going to be print text I'm gonna drag the label so I'm gonna get text inside this variable and from here the function and the lay and the variable that we are using he's gonna get the text and he's gonna put it right here and then he's gonna print it he's gonna print that on the screen so for that we need to add the options in the event graph is easy that you can do it right here but if you're going to do a lot of stuff then you can do it inside the the function that you created and first of all I'm gonna put here print text on the function name print text of variables on screen it doesn't really matter if it's long or short uh, function so now let's say that uh, when I use my left mouse button I want to start this function right here so every time I press my left mouse button it's supposed to do anything that I just put it inside here on this function 
So, as you can see, I'm clicking and clicking and clicking. And he is printing the text that is inside the variable. So, that's what basically the functions do. They basically do the same thing that you do on the event graph. The only thing is that you create everything and you put it inside. It's like having a zip file or a raw, a raw file with a lot of files inside. It's basically the same thing. This is Angel from PRDB, guys. Hope you guys like this dummy lesson. It is really important that you guys learn how to work with these because on the Unreal Engine Complete Tutorial series, uh, for the HUD tutorial, we'll be working with functions and also the variables. So I'm going to create another uh, dummy lesson, a really quick one also, for the variables so you guys can know uh, can learn how to work with them and how you can connect those variables with different objects on your project. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment guys. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.